Zerg series on where to be finding Zerg. I've been taking a break for it for a little while now since I've been playing a little bit of Warframe. Trying to figure out where this dude named Baro Kitir is kind of like hidden at. So it's kind of like a Zerg thing, but like it's a little bit different. But trying to change my warlock here. It's not the highest level, so it's fine, but I just wanted to get this over with because I wanted to really hop back in with these series. So, um, anyway, we have the Legacy Engram Body Armor. Engram. Cost 29 exchange coins. We have the, um, Empyrean. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Just, just correct me if I'm... Just connect, send up a chicken. Just connect me when I'm wrong. If I'm wrong. Bilakus. Um, requires a Titan class since I'm a Warlock right now. Oh, no, like, I just almost choked. Okay. Uh, requires level 40 and 350 defense. And its little little perk is aiming weapons while airborne holds you in place with full super orbs recharge melee. That's that's actually pretty good. But, um, let's actually look at that. So it has anti gravity thrusters and weapons while they're in the air hold you in place for a short amount of time. And orbs collect while you're. Your super is full or charge your melee ability. So even though your super is full, it's still gonna charge something else. You just s not stop collecting orbs. You can keep collecting them while they recharge your melee. So it's like instantaneous melee. So it's like pretty nice. So it's like yeah, but I mean we have increased strength. We have increased discipline. We have inverse shadow. Increased super energy gain from killing minions under darkness. We also got fantabulous second thoughts. Gain bonus super energy from special weapon kills on minions out of darkness. So that's pretty nice. And then we have better already. Shield start to recover immediately after or pick up. Alright, getting down to business. We have the very. What is this? Knucklehead. Kn knucklehead radar? Knucklehead Radar? I, I don't know if I'm saying... Yeah, yeah. Knucklehead Radar. What what name is it actually Knucklehead Radar? Let me, let me, let me think about that. I mean, no. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. But we have Forest Perks Sensor Pack. Radar... Ooh, remains visible while primary weapon... While aiming primary weapons. Okay. Um, that can be pretty useful, actually. Um, doesn't say PvP or PvE. So I'm guessing it's for both. Um, increased discipline, increased strength, um, inverse shadow, increased super energy gain from killing minions of darkness. We have hands on game gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness. We have invigoration, which is bonus grenade energy and or pickup. So it's pretty doing pretty good, pretty doing pretty good. But I want this for my warlock. Nothing but Melicans. I kind of like the design Itself, of the because arm. That's, like, that's why I mostly want it. And kind of it's straight too. Enables tracking for scatter grenades. Holds an extra scatter grenade charge. So it's kind of like one of those exotic weapons or the exotic armor pieces that you see. They carry like an extra grenade or like an extra melee. Something like that. We have tw infusion which you can infuse to make it stronger than 3 or 3 defense. We have twist fate to change the stats. Increase intellect, um, increase discipline. We have energy proje projection, I'm sorry. Increases grenade throwing distance. I think this would be good in some circumstances because if you miss in one part, um, if you miss, like, a, just, just, a, just a tad bit much, this could probably up you up and just throw it a little bit farther, like football field. Just, just, just like, picture a football in your hand. And you want to throw it at your friend's face. Just, yeah, just do that. Just do that. Or they did something that's really bad and you just want to do that. So we have impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits. Okay. So every time you get a melee hit, it's a bonus energy. Gren yeah. Bonus of the grenade energy. Yeah. Um, auto rifle loader increases the reload speed of auto rifles, which can come in pretty clutch moments if you, yeah, if the, if you are, I don't know, occupied or like in trouble, in serious trouble, in, in trouble. So anyway, we have sniper rifle loader, increases the reload speed of sniper rifles, 
that would be pretty good at times because I use sniper rifles a lot, so that might be good. And finally, we have the truth for the weapon of the week. The truth is an amazing gun alone, or amazing rocket launcher alone. I'm sorry. Um, so it causes this avoid damage, as you can see. It's attack and fusion. Um, hard launch, more velocity, and blast radius, and increased recoil. We have warhead venerians, venerians. Yeah, more velocity and blast radius, increased recoil. Um, so stable, so stability is like load a little bit, and the reload speed's a little bit up, just a little bit though. Um, stability is getting there. Confined launch greatly reduced recoil. Significant penalty to velocity. It's kind of like. The velocity is like, it's a little bit down, but like, just like, the blast radius is a little bit down too, the velocity, and stability is up. So that's good. Um, grenades and horseshoes, okay. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. That's cool. So it's kind of like a sticky bomb in a sense, so you can just picture a sticky bomb, you can trigger it whatever you want. But it's not kind of that part too, but it will trigger early if it's... How close it is to the enemy. Uh, javelin increases the warhead velocity, so the velocity of the weapon. And um, heavy payload increases the warhead blast radius. We have the flared magwell. We load this weapon even faster. We have prototype true seeker, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing perk. Rounds fired from this weapon seeks their target aggressively. Not to mention the fact this thing has aggressively in it, just very, very aggressively. And oh, I forgot to go over the th things, I'm sorry. Um, the um, little ornaments you get out of there. Heart of Gold design your weapon. Kind of like Heart of Gold. That looks amazing. Not gonna lie, that, look, that looks absolutely amazing. Prototype looks like Ned, but I, I prefer. I prefer this. I prefer Heart of Gold. Because I like gold. I like yellow. Kind of have it. But we have the Plasma Drive, as you see, permanently upgrades and <sighs> equipped a rare Sparrow to improve all overall speed and durability. Strangely to blah 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 blah, produces a greenish contrail under boots. So I don't think you would want this. You You might, if you really like, if you really want to change your color. Of your uh, little little trail, contrail. As we know, we have the heavy ammo synthesis. We have heavy ammo synthesis at, as ten pack. Well, yeah, this they come in ten, and this comes in three. So it's like yeah, um, three of coins. Stackable effect. Stackable effect. I did not notice at all. You could stack them to increase the chance of the next ultra you defeat or crucible match. So I could stack these things, and that'd be amazing. I would love to do that, but I just keep forgetting. And that's why I think it's so hard for me to get exotic engrams like that. So it's like a stacking effect. So that's why, it's kind of like strange coins. I mean, yeah, they cost seven, so you get five. It's nice. An exotic shard, you can just, can be used to unlock the full power of the exotic gear. And mode of light is used to upgrade or equip, uh, upgrade the equipped gear. So that's pretty much it, guys. And um, hopefully you enjoyed finding Zerg. And again, we are getting back to the series about this. And hopefully, uh, we'll see you guys later.